Hello and welcome back. My name is Andrew Coleman. We're looking at a series on guerrilla leadership. And today we're looking at friction that results due to asymmetry. As I shared in the last video, uh, each individual has their own uh, mental, physical, and relationship capabilities with their own personal vision in the middle. And uh, teams are made up of people. And the reality is, is that people's uh, triangles are all different. It's never a perfect balance. And it's the areas of overlap where uh, communication and friction occur in our teams. And then uh, when you get into uh, teams of teams and organizations and you layer that on, it becomes very noisy, uh, complex and chaotic very quickly. So this week we're going through asymmetries that hinder unity. Uh, many of you will remember that before uh, we called this the flow leadership framework, it was also called the unified vision framework. And there are asymmetries that hinder unity and those asymmetries or imbalances uh, include vision. Uh, it can also include one language where it's actually missing. People aren't on the same page. It can be in the area of the one mind where people aren't in agreement. You haven't distilled agreement and politics have erupted in the organization. Typically, you get politics if there's more than two people in, in the room. Sometimes there's politics with only one person in the room because they can't make up their mind. One plan is the result of having a vision, one language, and one mind. If you don't have the first three lined up, getting the plan in place so that you can actually deliver becomes almost impossible. And so <clears throat> multiple languages in the organization is a huge barrier. It also creates a lot of organizational friction. So in the leadership realm up here at the top where we have relationships, you can have uh, the way that the leadership is looking at the vision, the mission, and the purpose, and the way they communicate that sometimes just doesn't make it down to the team level in a, in a recognizable form. And then when you layer in governance, finance, budgets, sales, marketing, all the process and line management that occurs, and just in this part, it can become really difficult. And then if you add in the language of business management, like product management, project program, portfolio management, line process, operational management, uh, they speak another language. And then finally, we have technology management and the teams might speak agile, lean or scrum or Kanban or some other version, uh, extreme programming and so on and DevOps and whatever. And what's interesting is, is business and technology believe that they're communicating to each other, but really what you're ending up with is that explosion right now where they thought they communicated and they weren't even close. And it's the same the other directions as well, where the business is thinking, uh, you know, the business level is thinking that they're communicating to the leadership in a way that they understand, and that's not happening. And the same for technology to leadership. They think they're communicating the, and that they've been clear, and it's that's not the case. And you'll notice that the arrows go both directions on this. And so... Every direction on the arrow represents the failures that are happening in the communication. Dr. Cotter uh, used to teach that we have to over communicate our vision by a factor of 10. He said it in reverse, but that was basically the message. And so we think we're being clear, but we're, we're really not being clear. 
And uh, it's really important to be precise in our language, precise and clear and understandable so that there's less risk for miscommunication. And if, if there are uh, channels that are broken in this communication, it's gonna be really tough. Collaboration distance. So you have all these groups and the further apart they are from each other, the further apart they are, the higher the friction. The closer they are, hopefully the lower the friction and you might have some that just have medium friction. And so <clears throat> with the language, it's communication. With the mind, it's distilled agreement. And with the plan, if it's not agreed to, you've got politics. But the only way I'm aware of that we can mitigate this is using the 4D model, where you have your definitions, you distill agreement, then you deliver. And driving is just double checking that it matched the vision that we had in the beginning. It's, it's not rocket science. It's really simple, but simple is not easy. And it's everybody's responsibility to communicate. We need to stop throwing judgment around and rather try to start to discern instead. And so it's, it's easy for the leadership to say, Man, they don't get it. Or it's easier for the teams to say, well, the leadership, they don't get it. And when you're pointing at others, remember there's three fingers pointing back at yourself. And we really need to look in the mirror, each and every one of us and make sure Am I really communicating at the level that I need to communicate at in order to prevent or to decrease what we would call friction? And hopefully everybody understands this is negative friction. Sometimes some friction can be a good thing. You use it to get traction. But anyways, what we're trying to do is through having a common vision, having one language, one mind, and one plan that we get the communication flow going correctly, we distill agreement, and we start to reduce or mitigate, or in some cases even eliminate the politics. We have 18 mindsets that we use in guerrilla leadership, and we're gonna be going through each and every one of these. And today, again, we were focusing primarily on the three triangles down here. And in the team section, we were using the 4D model to uh, mitigate the communication or the miscommunications that occur between individuals and teams and teams and the products, service and result, and or even up to the entire organization. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Andrew Coleman. If you'd like a copy of this presentation, feel free to reach out to me either via my website or link up with me on LinkedIn. Be happy to chat with you. Have a great day. And again, thanks for stopping by.